Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another session by Simply Code. In today's session, we'll discuss a very important concept in the web designing and layout that is CSS box model. A CSS box model is used to understand the whole layout of the web page and how each elements are positioned in a web page. So, to understand this concept, we'll take an help of an example and try to explain each and every part of the box model using that example. So, without further delay, let's move ahead. In this video, we will discuss what is the box model and its various properties. We will also do an example to understand the box model better. So let's get started. Every element that can be displayed on a web page is comprised of one or more rectangular boxes. CSS box model typically describes how these rectangular boxes are laid out on a web page. These boxes can have different properties and can interact with each other in different ways. But every box has a content area and options surrounding padding, border, and margin areas. The following diagram demonstrates how the content, padding, border, and margin CSS properties determine how much space an element can take on a web page. The content area consists of content like text, images, or other media. It is bounded by the content edge and its dimensions are given by the content box width and height. The border area is the area between the box padding and margin. Its dimensions are given by the width and height of the border. The margin area consists of spaces between the border and the margin. The dimensions of the margin area are the margin box width and margin box height. It is useful to separate the element from its neighbors. The padding area is the area that includes the element's padding. This area is actually the space around the content area and within the border box. Its dimensions are given by the width of the padding box and the height of the padding box. Now let's jump to an example to understand the box model better. So we are on the Sublime Text Editor. To get started, I have created a box themed simply run with background color pink. The font size is 30 pixel and we have set the border to 0 solid green. Let's see how it looks on our page. So as you can see, we have a box named simply run with background going all the way to the end. I have also removed all the padding and margin from the page so that the boxes are pushed just at the corner of the page, as you can see. Let's start by adding a padding of 20 pixel to the box. If you save the file, you can see the box increased by 20 pixel from all the sides. Padding occurs inside the background of an element. It goes around the content of the element. Most of the buttons inside the CSS are designed using padding so that the background of the button becomes wider than the actual text. The next thing we can do is change the border of the element. If we change this border size to 15 pixel, we will get a nice solid background of color green. The border goes around the padding of our element. So we have the 20 pixel of padding around our content and 15 pixel of border around the padding which is around the content. Now we'll see the working of the margin. If we add 30 pixel of margin to our element, you can see the spacing on the outside of our border. So let's add the 30 pixel margin and refresh. You can see the spacing on outside of the border. Margin is used to space two elements apart from each other. Now let's change these values to see the difference. Let's make the margin 40 pixels. We'll make the padding 30 pixels. And let's keep the border 20 pixels. And make it color red. This is 40 pixels. Let's observe the changes. So as you can see, our border now has a red background the padding is 30 pixel the margin is 40 pixel let's inspect the elements to understand it better by clicking on inspect you can see the different style here in the computer tab you can see the box model this is a content area uh, this is the padding area this is the border and this is the margin area we have the margin of 40 pixels around the border so you can when you click on this area you can see the margin gets highlighted the border area gets highlighted of 20 pixels this is the padding 
and this is the content. You can change the size of the content by adding the height and width. So let's try adding height and width. We'll give the height 50 pixels and we'll give the width also 50 pixels. Just save the file. Now when you refresh, you can see the content area 15 to 50. So with this we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Keep practicing and keep learning. Thank